During the 90s, we had the chance to work on many different interesting miniaturized complications from the history of watchmaking for the wristwatch. But by the end of the 90s, what we realized was that uh, while this was fantastic as a challenge and interesting, there might be a limit to where we could go with this using the existing sort of uh, dictionary of complication of mechanism. Robert had a desire and inspiration to uh, build a version of the GMT which would offer the Earth rotating globe, so unique and original in the GMT, to be against a completely back backdrop. And so the, there, the idea to use a, a lightweight material, titanium, for the case enabled us to uh, then make a, a black finish to the case. So this amorphous diamond-like coating, very sophisticated, very modern technology in terms of the, the surface treatment and finish of the titanium, means that you have a, a piece, timepiece, which is uh, very interesting in terms of uh, the contrast looking a, a little bit as if you were in outer space, looking down at the North Pole of the Earth against that backdrop of the universe itself. Well, Global Forcey, uh, for Robert and myself as watchmakers, we are very, uh, very keenly aware of the skill and expertise that, uh, and the experience that you need to be able to uh, create a fine timepiece. But it's something which um, we realized already uh, quite a few years ago. In fact, as early as 2005, 2006, with uh, Philippe Dufour, a renowned independent watchmaker in his own right, uh, that we all had difficulty to find uh, watchmakers and craftsmen with the required skills that we needed. So if we think about all of the uh, many hundreds of years of mechanical watchmaking that's there, and the artifacts and the antique and historic pieces, to be able to restore those, you need to understand those traditional techniques. So we, we had this conclusion there that we were losing this know-how. So we created a small foundation called Time Eon. And with Time Eon, we had hoped to get the immediate interest and support to be able to put in place some uh, program to be able to safeguard and transmit this to a new generation. there is a lot of value in something which is exceptional. Uh, and the reason for that is it's a lot of work. A collector, I would say he was um, cultured. This is a fact. Um, in the Middle East, we have been already present for over 10 years. And so, uh, particularly in the Emirates, in, in Dubai, uh, and uh, to be able to exchange with the collectors, we have seen uh, we've seen a growing interest, but also been able to meet with collectors who already uh, been uh, very interested in fine watchmaking for, for years. And so uh, it's something which is uh, very much in line uh, with our own idea and approach. When we're looking at uh, Global Forcey, you know, we are also sensitive to the collector and their, their desire uh, that they might want to have something very personal or individual. So if that's something which fits with our own philosophy, uh, then, you know, then this is something which we can always look at. But that in itself takes its own time.